Hi everyone, hope you all doing well. Welcome back to our channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about controlled folder access, a capability available in Microsoft Defender for Endpoint that can help you protect your data from malicious applications and threats like ransomware. Now, if you're watching this series from the beginning, in the last video, we have discussed about attack surface reduction rules, exclusions, and advanced analysis. Whereas in this video, we are going to discuss what is controlled folder access, how it can prevent your data from getting encrypted from ransomware, what are supported OS modes available and deployment methods. By definition, controlled folder access is a capability available in Microsoft Defender for Endpoint with which you can block access to protected folders by any untrusted applications. Now let's extract three terms from the definition to understand what is controlled folder access, which is untrusted application, protected folders, and block access. We typically differentiate applications by two categories, which are trusted and untrusted, or let's say sanctioned or unsanctioned applications. If an application is trusted, then it is allowed to run and perform all the activities on the machine. Whereas if the application is untrusted, then all the application activities should either be monitored or blocked. And this is one of the very common approach to identify whether an application is malicious or not. The next one is protected folders. Imagine yourself accessing your machine where you use multiple folders out of which the first four contain all your personal and professional data. Now let's say your machine is affected by ransomware and in this case access to your own data will be restricted because all your files are now encrypted. Now imagine a use case where even if there is a ransomware attack, you can protect your personal data from being encrypted and how you will do that by simply classifying these folders as protected folders. Now let's talk about the third term which is block access. Imagine a scenario where you have clicked on some malicious link that has resulted in malware getting downloaded on your machine which was responsible for ransomware attack. Now at a very high level, as I've mentioned before, once a ransomware affects a device, all the files are encrypted. However, just assume that even if there is a ransomware attack that affects your machine, you have to find a control in place that is going to block any kind of change to these protected folders. And how you will do that? Again, by checking what kind of application is it, okay? So now if you combine all three terms, it will be exceptionally relatable. The first one is having a control that can verify if an application is trusted or not. Then whether the application is allowed to access protected folders. And if the application is not trusted, then block access to protected folders. And this is how controlled folder access can protect your data from malicious applications or threats like ransomware. Now let's talk about how exactly it works under the hood, okay? Consider an example wherein an application or executable that you're trying to launch on a machine where controlled folder access is enabled. Now, typically, there are only three settings that you have to manage. The first one is a simple toggle button that can enable controlled folder access. The second one is to add trusted applications. And the third one is the console from where you will be defining the list of protected folders. Or let's say you will add locations that you want to be classified as protected folders. Now, even though I will discuss about these options in a lot more detail, but for this particular video, just keep these settings as reference. Now, if I talk about the same scenario, once you launch an application on a machine where control folder access is enabled, Microsoft Defender will first check whether the application is trusted or not. Now, this is done by verifying if the application is available in the trusted application list 
maintained automatically by Microsoft. Now let's say if the application is available in the list, the application is allowed to run on the machine as well as application can access protected folders. In the second scenario, when the application is not available in the list, controlled folder access verifies whether you have added the application manually in the trusted application list or not. And which is this particular setting, the snip that I have shown you before. Now let's say you have added the application manually. In this case, the application is again allowed to run on the machine and the access to protected folders is also granted. The third scenario where the application is not available in the list and the application is not added manually as a trusted application. Even if in this case, the application is allowed to run, but the moment application tries to access any of the protected folders, that respective access is blocked. Now, this is something which is very specific to control folder access and you must make a note of this. The purpose of controlled folder access is to block access of untrusted application to protected folders. Controlled folder access will not block installation of untrusted application on the machine. Or to make it simple, controlled folder access will not block untrusted application from either running or getting installed on the machine. It is only there to protect the folders that you have defined as protected folders. Now, in the same example, you can replace application with malicious applications or threats like ransomware. Well, let's say the ransomware was not detected by AV. Let's say it's a brand new ransomware. There is no predefined context which is available. Or let's say through behavioral analytics as well, the ransom was, uh, ransomware was not identified and the ransomware was allowed to run. Even in this scenario, the ransomware will not be able to encrypt the folders that you have defined as protected folders. And this is how controlled folder access works for all the untrusted applications or malwares. Now, controlled folder access can be enabled in two different modes, audit mode and block mode. In audit mode, all the activities are monitored and the applications are allowed to access protected folders as well as events will be generated in event viewer whereas in block mode again everything is monitored but the access to protected folder is blocked for all the untrusted applications and the examples that i have covered in this particular video in the last couple of tech or let's say the experience that I have shared is something that you will get once you enable controlled folder access and block mode. Now, as of now, this capability is only available for Windows as a platform where it can be enabled by Windows security application, PowerShell, Group Policy in Tune and MECM or let's say CCM for Windows Server 2012 R2 and Windows Server 2016. This setting can't be enabled from console as well as for all the server OS. This setting can not be enabled from Intune because still the server onboarding precisely for Intune is not available. Okay. So that's all for this one. Let's talk about a quick summary of what all we have discussed. We have discussed about what is controlled folder access, how exactly it works, how it can prevent your data getting encrypted from ransomware, what are the modes available, what are the deployment methods. In the next video, I'm going to show you how you can enable the setting from Windows Security Application and PowerShell. And I'm practically going to cover each and every test use case that you can do. Or let's say there is a test tool that's available Microsoft by Microsoft that you can use to go ahead and perform all the testing. Thank you so much. Thanks for your time. If you think that this channel is helping you to learn anything new, please feel free to subscribe and share this video with your technical community. Thank you so much. Thanks for your time.